I need your help with a very sensitive mission. A former Kai, Opaka, was trapped on a prison moon in the Gamma Quadrant in 2369. Alien nanotech in her system prevents her from leaving the moon, but it also sustains her life indefinitely while on the surface. It seems the wardens of the prison were planning on curing and granting amnesty to the prisoners until their planet was decimated by the Herc. Somehow, the Dominion managed to obtain the cure and they've provided it to us as a peace offering. The moon hasn't been hit by the Herc, but it's only a matter of time. We need to cure Opaka and the others and get them out of there before that happens. Good, we've arrived. I suggest scanning the prison moon and its satellite network. They might have fixed the design flaw we exploited here years ago to bypass their defenses. Those satellites could cripple a Starfleet runabout with one shot back then. I'd rather not find out how powerful they are now, if you don't mind. Looks like the satellite weapon and defense systems were updated to deal with modern vessels, but they still have the same flaw that Mars O'Brien took advantage of years ago. You should be able to distract the satellites by firing probes near their position. Distract enough of them, and you'll clear an area long enough to safely beam down an away team. Picking up some debris clouds from Herc ships in orbit. It's possible some Herc bypassed the satellites. We should be ready. Looks like O'Brien's trick still works. The satellites took the bait and we have a safe transport window. We're in position. I recommend we bring some pattern enhancers along. Local interference can make it tough to get a lock on and we might have to leave in a hurry. All right. The Doctor and I are ready to beam down when you are. Though I can't say I'm thrilled to see that moon again.
Ah, the wreckage of the Yangtze Jiang. Or what's left of her, rather. Looks like the locals have scavenged everything of value from the old girl. Unlike her, they can never die thanks to the nanotech inside of them. Right. The last time we were here, the prisoners were eager to be cured, if only to get the chance to kill their rivals off for good. I'm hoping that Opaka has shown them a better path than the time she's been here among them. We're not alone. Herc life signs dead ahead. This is interesting. I just ran a medical scan on these Herc. They're not regenerating. There's no sign of the alien nanites in their bodies. Something in the Herc genetic makeup isn't compatible with the nanites. I suspect it only works on humanoids. I think you'll find that she'll be in good health within moments. The healing nanites are quite effective. In fact, they seem to have become more efficient than they were last time I was here. You can relax. I'm fine now. Really. You made it. Good. The Kai's been expecting you. Yes, she's had a vision about you coming here. Come with us. We'll take you to her. Unless you'd rather stand around here until more of those things show up.
The Kai's waiting for you, in the temple ahead. Welcome. It's been some time since we've had peaceful visitors. And Kai Kira, it's been too long. Truly, the prophets have smiled upon us today. Indeed they have. We have brought the cure. You'll be able to live a normal life away from here. You'll be free. And we have something to bring with us. A miracle. Is... Is that... Yes, a blessing from the prophets. The Orb of Peace. Through it... We ended the war between Ennis and Noel Ennis. As you can see, our peace has been shattered by the arrival of the hostile aliens. We have tried to speak with them, to find reason, but we have failed. We don't even know their name. They're called Herc. And there's no reasoning with them. They attack and devastate every world, every species they encounter. We need to get you and your people out of here as soon as possible. I see. We must take the orb with us as well. I can't have it falling into the hands of such a warlike species. It would be like the occupation all over again. That's not going to happen. I won't allow it and neither will my friends. We can administer the cure to everyone in groups. With your permission, we'll start right away. Very well. Begin the procedure. I'm sure many of us are eager to leave this place and begin a new life together. When they put me here, all I knew was war. I don't remember why it started, just that there was us and the Ennis, and the Ennis had to die. Even when the Kai came, I didn't believe. But when they found the orb and people stopped killing, things changed for me. Eh, I guess there's something to faith after all. Anyway, thanks for everything. Is this for real? This cure? They talked about it a little after the Kai arrived, but I thought it was a myth. Never thought it was actually real. So, I can die now. Funny, I never thought I would. And now that I can, I'm a little scared. Is that strange? Then it's true, what the Kai saw in her dreams. Those visions. The Prophets sent us the orb, and now... ...they sent you with our deliverance from this horrible place. Truly, the Prophets smile upon us all. The cure, huh? Well, this cure had better work, friend. Or we won't be friends no more! Get me! After all this time, to live a normal life, it's like waking up from a really bad dream. I... I can think about having a family again. An actual family. I don't know what else to say except... thank you.
Some time ago, I asked Bashir for this cure. I wanted to use the cure as a weapon and kill the enemy. I couldn't put the war with the Knoll behind me. I hated him for denying my chance for vengeance. Now, that's changed, thanks to the Kai. I found a better path. I just want to lead a simple, natural life. Looks like you're down to one dose of the cure. Use that to inoculate the Kai. Kai or Parker, that is. I'll administer the cure to the rest here. You have my thanks for all you have done for us today. May the blessings of the Prophets be yours. Those things are attacking! Defend yourselves! Hold down! Medic! Someone help him! I'm afraid he's dead. There's nothing we can do for him. Though we will mourn the loss of our friend, Gollum, we can take comfort knowing that, at long last, he was able to leave this place for a better one. He is finally at peace, and his pop will join the prophets in the Celestial Temple. The Doctor and I will stay with Opaka and her people in case the Herc make another attack here. Once you've cleared the way to the transport site, we'll join up with you there. Everyone made it out in one piece. Set up the pattern enhancer so we can beam out selling when the Herc will send reinforcements down.
Let's move the ship behind the satellites and lure the Herc in. Just in time. Here they come. Looks like the Herc have had enough for now. Let's get the rest of Opaka's people out of the colony while we can. The Herc might send a larger force to finish us off. I'm glad I was able to administer the cure to the remaining prisoners while you were clearing a path to the transport site. Everyone is safely aboard and mortal for the first time in many years. I've never seen so many people overjoyed to learn that eventually they will die. Thank you, Julia. It means a lot to me to have everyone else safely, especially Paka. We have a lot to talk about, her and I. For now, I think we should return to Deep Space Nine before the Herc come back to settle the score. Thank you, Julian. It means a lot. I'm glad we were able to return Opaka to Bajor safely. She's determined to follow the will of the Prophets and establish a new place of worship in the Gamma Quadrant near the Wormhole. Odo assures me that the Dominion are open to discussing this. <laughs> we'll see. Many of us have not forgotten the fate of the new Bajor colony and the Dominion's role in that. As for me, my time as Kai is coming to an end. Opaka is the Kai that Bajor needs now. I intend to guard the Celestial Temple from the Herc and anyone else who would destroy the home of the Prophets. 
best place to do that is Deep Space Nine, as part of Starfleet. I'll be Captain Kira the next time you see me. Thank you again for helping me bring Opaka home. I owe you one. Thank you, Julian. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. Maurice. Opaka. Emissary. Our paths meet again. Hello, Ben. It's good to hear from you. <laughs> 